Now, I will say, you can build your box any size that you want. In fact, you can have something on your desk, maybe, that needs a box. Um, you maybe have, like, a little action figure or something like that that needs a box. You can build your box any size you want. I just picked a playing card box because it was just fun to kind of show you that script and how to make a folding uh, playing card box in a couple seconds. All right, so here um, I'm going to start out a new scene in Blender. I'm going to delete everything that is non-essential by clicking on it and hitting X on the keyboard. Then I'll file, import, SVG. Now, it imported. It's just really, 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 really small. Okay? We'll fix that here in a second. First thing we do, though, is we're going to click and drag, then go Object, Convert to Mesh from Curve Data. Okay, what did that do? Well, if you hit Tab now on the keyboard, you'll see that that piece is now polygons. And if you hit Z on the keyboard, you can see the whole thing is made out of polygons. That's very powerful, by the way. If you're, if you're into 3D modeling, that's pretty powerful. Okay, so now we're going to take and select all of this and go Object Join. And then Object Transform Origin to Geometry. That'll move this cursor right in the center, sort of in the center of it. Okay, now we need a magical number. The magical number is located on your sheet. Um, I haven't written out unit 4 yet, but it's 39.37. Okay, I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to go back to Blender, hit N on the keyboard, and go up to Scale. Scale, I'm going to type in 39.37. Okay, notice over here it's now 6.9 by 5.7. Okay, now let's go over back to Inkscape, I'll show you what happened. If I was to group all these together, and I was to go to inches, notice the numbers at the top. 69.9, no, 6.967, or 969, and then 5.17. So by adding a scale of 39. 3.7, I was able to match the dimensions in inches now, getting out of millimeters for a few, into my design. Powerful. Okay. So that's how you import an SVG into Blender and then match the scale uh, from Inkscape. All right, let's move on to the next video.